How does someone beat unbeatable odds, overcome incredible difficulties, or endure enormous challenges to achieve extraordinary success? The solution to having unlimited internal strength and phenomenal relationships is found in the way that you validate your emotional fingerprint. Your emotional fingerprint is completely neutral by nature. You do not have a good or bad emotional fingerprint. What is good or bad is how you choose to validate it. Your emotional fingerprint can only be met one of two ways, either by you, which is called being internal, or by other people, places, or things, which is called external validation. Where does your power come from? Where do you get your strength? Where do you get the ability to beat unbeatable odds? The answer is, it lies within. Your power, your strength, and your ability comes from the inside out, which is called internal validation. When you take control and validate your own emotional fingerprint internally, you feel authentic peace, happiness, strength, abundance, confidence, and power. But when you look to other people, places, or things to validate your emotional fingerprint, you lose control. You feel weak, exhausted, sad, angry, frustrated, fearful, and depressed. If we are constantly trying to get our emotional fingerprint met and we are externally looking to other people, places, or things to validate us, no wonder why we feel miserable at times. It's a lot like the greyhound on the racetrack chasing that mechanical rabbit. No matter how hard he runs, he's never going to catch the rabbit. However, if you were to make a conscious decision and stop doing what he's doing and make a 180 degree turn, then the next time that rabbit came around the track, it goes straight into his mouth. We all need to stop and become very conscious of what we are doing in our lives and do a 180 degree turn and not look to other people, places, or things to make us feel important. You can do things for yourself that makes you feel important and that is where you get control. Understanding the difference between internal and external validation is the key to unlocking the power to changing your life and your relationships. Understanding the difference between internal and external validation is the key to unlocking the power to changing your life and your relationships. Let's take a closer look at what it means to seek external validation. Sometimes it's easier to see how this applies when you look at someone else's life. Do you know someone who is always talking about themselves? Their problems, their relationships, their work, or their kids? What about your friends on social media sites like Twitter and Facebook? You know which ones I'm talking about. The ones who are always bragging about where they've been or what they're doing or who they've been with. Then there's what I call the silent killer, that external person on the inside, meaning they may not say anything negative about other people, but when they look inside, they start tearing themselves down and comparing themselves to other people. They'll say things like, why aren't I good enough, skinny enough, rich enough, beautiful enough, maybe I'm not as good of a parent as somebody else. That external thought in their head really tears them down from the inside out and has a very negative impact on their life. Are you one of those people? Have you ever had any of those thoughts? Have you ever tore yourself down mentally? Now look at your eyes. Have you noticed that as you do that, you start to spiral and start to feel depressed and frustrated and exhausted? When people seek external validation, they are only left wanting more. Do you know anyone who no matter how many times you tell them you think they're wonderful, they feel miserable? They're never satisfied. Do you know anyone who never seems happy, no matter what you do for them? When people seek external validation, it's like they're trying to fill a bucket full of water that just has holes in it. The more they pour in, the more that comes out, and they're left feeling exhausted and empty. Let's examine this a little bit deeper. Why do people cheat on their spouse or their partner? It's because they didn't find that internal validation in their personal life or in their marriage, so they sought external validation elsewhere. What about those teenagers who fall victim to peer pressure even though their parents loved them and did everything they could for them? They fall because they did not give themselves that internal validation they needed. Just look at the daily news and you will see countless stories of people who sought external validation in defending and supporting their emotional fingerprint. Not only did it have a negative impact on their life, but on the lives of all those around them. I have interviewed every walk of life, from politician to priest, millionaires to inmates, moms and dads, and kids to grandparents. Based on these interviews, let me make a very bold statement. Every argument, every selfish desire, every crime, addiction, every instance of abuse, lying, cheating, or stealing, all originated from someone seeking external validation. The good news is there is a solution to life's challenges and it costs absolutely nothing. The answer is and always will be internal validation. When you switch from external to internal validation, 
Your relationships dramatically change. Seeking internal validation is not about being selfish, it's about being self-aware. It is recognizing what you need and providing it for yourself instead of demanding it from others. Think of it this way, when you travel on a plane, the flight attendant will say, in case of emergency, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. Put the oxygen mask on yourself first so that you can help those around you. That's what it means to be internal. It's not about being selfish. Think of it this way, a drowning man cannot save another drowning man. They've got to get on dry ground. When you put yourself on dry ground, then and only then can you reach out to other people. Being internal is not about living on an emotionally secluded island void of loving people. To the contrary, it's like being a lighthouse which stands tall and strong on a solid ground next to a sea of chaos. Your internal strength then shines light to everybody around you. I want to be very clear that there is nothing wrong with receiving or giving external validation. Where it becomes a problem is when it becomes your only source of validation. If you seek external validation, it just leaves you frustrated and exhausted. In just a moment, I'll give you a three-step strategy to solve any of your challenges. But before I do, I need to show you how to switch from external to internal validation. Look at your first eye. You either chose or selected control, God, spirit, and universe, organize, appearance, or trust. The key to becoming more internal is to list five things you can do for yourself for each one of your eyes. By doing one of those activities you listed, you validate yourself internally. For example, let's say you selected control as your eye. List five things you could do to meet that eye. For example, you could write, set measurable and obtainable goals, make a list of the 10 things you do control, set standards, not expectations for living my life within control, slow down, meditate, prayer, or center yourself, get rid of clutter in your life. All those things, if you were to actively do for yourself, would validate that eye internally. So all you need to do is look at your seven eyes and list five things you can do for each eye. When you do this, what happens is you have internal strength. The second your eyes get offended, you stop, you look at it and say, okay, these eyes have been offended. What can I do about it? How do you own it? You own it by identifying the eye that was offended and doing something internally to get it met for you, by you. Now I want to share with you the three words that will align you for success every time your eyes are offended. They are reassess, realign, and re-engage. When something is bothering you, you must first be conscious and reassess your situation. Take a step back and look at your eyes. Which ones are being offended? Second, realign. Realign means internally validating your emotional fingerprint by doing the activities you listed for each and every one of your eyes or doing what is on the back of the cards. Third, re-engage. After you are feeling more internal, you then need to re-engage in the conversation or the situation that initially offended your eyes. This is the foundation to allow you to be internal in any circumstance. As you do this, you will dramatically see your mood increase and change because you were in control. You validated yourself from the inside out.